In this video, I'm gonna tell you what exactly happened to my drone, and then I'm gonna go a little bit farther and give a review on a crash DJI Phantom 4. Whenever the Phantom 4 came out, the day it came out, I bought it. I immediately started filming aerial photography, aerial videography. I probably brought this drone out maybe twice a day for the first month. I was just filming constantly the entire time, and I got pretty good at it. And I've been filming for a year now, and I've never had a problem, but what happened is I ran into a telephone wire, and the drone crashed. I crashed the drone, actually. Super sad. But I'm going to do a test now, because I have a few different professional jobs that require a drone. So I have no choice but to get another one, because really this drone is where my money comes from. So I can't just say, oh, well, it crashed. I'm done flying. I'll help offset the price, I actually want to sell my broken drone. I think it still flies. I haven't had the guts to try it yet, but you know, to put it on eBay, I want to make sure everyone knows what its capabilities are. The sad thing about the crash is that the gimbal got damaged. I mean, if it was just the legs, then no biggie. You can just tape them back. I don't know. You can you can fix the legs, but the gimbal is the most expensive part of the drone. And in this case, the gimbal is bent a little bit. So you can see it's not straight here. It's a little bit pushed in to uh, your right. So when the drone crashed, it went down like this, smashed it in the ground and broke the right leg, then it bent the gimbal, and then finally it hit the ground so hard that it even bent this leg a little bit out that way. Looking at the top of the drone, there's actually not too much damage. In fact, I can't see any besides this little nick. This nick right here. Yeah. I just finished taking pictures. So let's go fly it. So drone's all set up, now we got the remote. Let's go test this thing. It will fly. This is its maiden flight. I have not lifted it off since the crash. <sighs> okay. I don't know if you can see that, but it's only it's only 38 degrees out right now. It's fine for flying. Oh, it's a little windy which is gonna be good for testing the stabilization. So that'll be fine, but let's get this going. It's cold, so I put on a coat and some flip-flops. She still flies! It's doing really good. It's doing really good. I'm gonna do some flight tests here. Okay, so we have a success with the drone. It still flies. A little wet. It still flies. You guys saw it? It was up in the air. She still flies. All the options still work, like the auto land. The different flight modes are still operating. So it looks like the tech inside of the actual drone for the flight patterns is still intact. 
The problem is that the gimbal is broken and really why the only reason I use the drone is because it had a camera on it so that kind of renders it useless. The crash was extremely bad. I'm very surprised that this thing took off. I honestly did not think it would take off. I would show you some footage of the drone and like the footage that it got from the gimbal but the problem is that the connection between the, the camera and the the SD card somewhere the wiring got split it doesn't work uh, so I, I can't record on it anymore so yeah if you want a drone that's crashed and you don't really care about a camera or you even want to replace the gimbal on it yourself hit me up